I bit my tongue the other day, not on purpose, by accident. I bit my tongue, obviously not on purpose. And <laughs> I bit the tip of my tongue the other day and it's turned into this painful red ouchy thing. And I feel like it's making me talk weird because I'm trying to not move it too much because it hurts. So I'm sorry if in this video I talk weird. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting video. I, I just can't today, I can't. Hello, today I am gonna be filming a video where I get Instagram to choose how I get ready today. I've got you guys on Instagram to vote on a bunch of polls that I posted yesterday to choose how I do my makeup, how I do my hair, my outfit and all of that kind of stuff. Um, this is not an original idea. I'm pretty sure this was a trend a couple of years ago and I just never filmed it. So I'm pretty late to doing it. I thought it might be fun. So I'm gonna go and look and see what you guys... <laughs> Absolute joke, honestly. <laughs> I didn't want to have a look at them last night because I wanted it to be a surprise today. So I just kind of posted the polls and then didn't go back on them to have a look. And then I realized this morning, the first thing I asked was, do I fake tan tonight or stay my natural skin color? So I actually did need to look at that one last night, but I didn't. And as you can see, I'm not fake tanned. So I went on it and I was like, please, please say you guys picked no tan. Mm -mm. 59% fake tan, 41% no tan, and I haven't tanned because I forgot. <laughs> So the best I can do is a bit of instant tan because obviously I now don't have time to do like a tan that develops. So we're gonna try a bit of instant tan, which I would never normally do, but hopefully it works because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Only I would mess up like right at the start, honestly. Mm, Drop my mitt. So I've got this. This is the Loving Tan Bronze Shimmer Instant Color. But hopefully it does a little something something. So I'm just gonna put it all over my body. <laughs> I just gave it a little squeeze and a massive dollop just went right on my pajama bottoms. I told you, it's gonna be one of those videos, like everything's gonna go wrong, I just know it. I mean, it smells quite nice. I'm just gonna squirt a bit of this onto my mitt. Oh, so it's just like a really shimmery bronzy shade and then I'm just gonna, oh wow, that's quite a lot, isn't it? I'm just gonna rub it into my arms. I'm gonna have to do the rest off camera because I'm gonna have to like get naked, but we'll just do this bit on here. Oh, it's definitely adding a bit of color. Oh, amazing. I'm so glad. <laughs> okay, so the fake tan is on. I feel like for an instant tan, this is actually such a nice one. Like it's a really nice kind of natural, bronzy, glowy color. It applied so easily. It's dried really quickly. This sounds sponsored, but it's honestly not. I've just never tried it before. I've had it for ages. So I'm now gonna move on to my hair. I said, I wanna try something different with my hair, which hairstyle, and I had a picture of some plaits and a picture of some space buns. And the results were really close on this one. We've got 48% plaits, 52% space buns. So I'm gonna go and do some space buns. Shall I do some cool transition thing? Three, two, one. How hard could it really be? Apparently really hard. This took me about 45 minutes. I'm not even joking because I just kept doing them. They looked bad. I took them out. I did them again. I took them out. I did them again. I took them out. I did them again. I did them again and they still look bad, but I've given up. This is the best I can do. Do you know what? I like this one. That is a good space bun. What's going on here? He's all gappy. There's loads of gaps and I just can't seem to sort it out. So yeah, I struggled, but we've done them. I hope I did a good job. I hope you like my space buns as you guys chose. That's that. I now need to move on to makeup. And the first thing I got you guys to pick, I think it might've been my brushes. I asked you guys, which brushes should I use today? And I got you to pick from the Iconic brushes or the Spectrum brushes. The Iconic ones are the ones that I use all the time. The Spectrum ones I've never used before because they're pretty new. And I kind of knew which ones you'd probably go for. And I was right, 62% went for Spectrum, 38% went for Iconics. So today I'm going to use my new brushes and I'm very excited about it because they're so cute. So yeah, these are the Spectrum Zodiac five piece face brush set. So this is what they look like. They're very cute. They've got little gold stars on them and there you go. <laughs> so, you'll sh so you'll see them throughout the video. I just can't speak today. Honestly, I just can't. So as you guys know, I never normally use a primer, but I said, should I use a primer for once? 89% of you said yes, 11% said nah. So today I'm actually gonna prime my skin for once. I never do this because I can't be bothered. So I got this one out of my collection. It's the Barry M Pixie Skin Blurring Beauty Elixir. Never tried this. Oh, got hair in my eye. Yeah, I've literally never tried this. Oh my goodness. I hate this hole. <laughs> What does it even look 
Ooh, white. It's like a really white colored, creamy looking stuff thing. What am I talking about? Oh, that was a really big drip. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <gasps> it does look a little bit ominous, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's really creamy. I've definitely done way too much. Let me get some of this off. Okay, I think I've rubbed it in everywhere. It's definitely made my skin feel nice and smooth, but oh, uh, no, it's not. Why am I crumbling? <laughs> What's going on? It's like made my skin go all flaky and weird. We're a little bit crumbly. I need to stop rubbing it because that's probably where I'm going wrong. But there we go. I've actually used a primer for once. Are you proud of me? I'm pretty sure I just fixed my dodgy space bun. It looks a little bit small, but it looks better. I'm happy with that. Okay, right. Next thing I need to do is foundation. And I asked you guys, should I find another TikTok foundation hack to test or just do my foundation normally? 39% of you said normal, 61% of you said TikTok. So we're gonna be doing another TikTok foundation hack. I've done one of these before, but I'm gonna find a different one. I'm pretty sure I know which one I wanna test. I'm gonna do this one. So she basically does concealer and contour underneath her foundation and then she does the foundation on top and it just leaves like a really subtle natural bit of contour poking through it looks really good so i thought i'd give it a go so she starts off by using a concealer that is way lighter than her natural skin tone does that exist for me i don't think it does i'm pretty sure there is no concealer that is lighter than this unless there's like a white concealer but i don't own one so i'm just gonna go for the lightest one that i have and yeah i'm basically just gonna copy the pattern that she's done on her face she then just gives her sponge a little squirt that's quite a lot and then she just blends it out and then she takes a liquid bronzer and again does another little pattern on her face that i'm gonna copy i've copied it as best as i can what is the point of these little bits under here and now she just blends this bit out as well and then finally she just takes her foundation and puts it on top i feel like it didn't really work for me maybe you need like a really light coverage foundation to go on top because i feel like it's just covered it all up and you can't see it poking through at all so there was kind of no point and it's just made my face feel so cakey like can you see my face is just like poof, there is so much makeup on there so i don't think i'm gonna be using that i've probably done it wrong i always do things wrong but i tried it so next i asked you guys to pick a concealer i mean technically i don't need any more but i'm just gonna put a little bit under my eyes just to brighten them up a bit so i said which concealer revolution or benefit this one was so close we got 49 percent revolution 51 percent benefit and i'm quite glad because i've actually never tried that one before it's the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer and it looks like a little pencil. It's got a little rubber. It's really cute. So yeah, never tried this one before, but I'm just going to pop a tiny bit of this under my eyes. I kind of wish it was an actual rubber and you could like rub. Could you imagine a rubber that rubs out your makeup mistakes? That's just makeup remover, isn't it? <laughs> That is a really full coverage concealer. It says it's a cakeless one, but my face is already really cakey right now, so it kind of defeats the point. But yeah, that blended out really nicely. I like it. So next I said, which powder, Revolution or Elizabeth Arden? Why did I go for loose powders? Why did I do this to myself? I picked two loose powders. The more expensive one won, so 44% picked Revolution, 56% picked Elizabeth Arden. Elizabeth. It's because I can't do my THs because it hurts because then it rubs against my my tooth so i'm just gonna take a bit of that and pop it under my eyes um why do i feel like it is in my eyeballs probably because it is this is a powder brush i'm pretty sure so i'm just gonna take a load of that on here and i'm just gonna use this all over my face as well Okay, so my powder is done. I'm not sure about you. Honestly, my iconic brushes are so much softer. So next I asked you guys, which bronzer slash contour, Nip and Fab or Tarte? This one was definitely an obvious winner. We've got 27% Nip and Fab and 73% Tarte, which I kind of knew might happen because the Tarte one looks a lot more appealing. Like when you look at those two next to each other. Mm -mm. So I've got the Tarte Park Ave Princess contour palette. Again, I think I've tested this like once before in a video is this a contour brush or is it a blush brush mm. um i'm gonna take a bit of this one here in the shade princess cut and i'm gonna use that for my contour just a bit hard okay contour is done maybe a little bit too much 
Oh dear. So I said, which blush palette? Roxy's Revolution palette or an Urban Decay one? The Revolution one just stands out so much more. Like the colors are so much more like vroom. 65% for the Revolution one, 35% for Urban Decay. So we're gonna test Roxy's palette. I've not tried it yet. I've been saving it for a video of some sort. And this is gonna be the video. So this is what it looks like. It's really nice. Like, but yeah, I'm gonna start with a bit of this one. Okay, again, I've definitely put too much on. This is definitely giving me 2016 Sophie vibes when I used to just go ham with the blush but I kind of like it like I just I really like it it's a nice shade it's definitely like my perfect kind of blush shade it blended out really nicely hold up need a little bit on the nose <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of this one and pop it on my nose that one's got like a little bit of shimmer in it I think the other one was matte so next I said which highlighter palette Beauty Bay or Anastasia Anastasia will I ever learn the correct pronunciation of that probably not um and for this one Beauty Bay got 60% Anastasia Anastasia got 40% so I've got the Bennett Bennett no no I don't it ain't Benefit I've got the Beauty Bay living my best light delicate highlighter palette is that what it's called i'm gonna go for this one in the shade precious it's like a really bright champagne color i've definitely used this before so i know that it is a really good highlighter i don't remember it being that good oh my goodness i'm pretty sure that is the most intense highlighter i've ever tried like it's too much like it's actually too much i'm definitely gonna have to pat it down a bit wow i, I wasn't expecting that i haven't used it in a really long time but oh my goodness <laughs> Why does this always happen? I'm getting all excited like, oh, look at this. And I look forward and we've got lines every single time. Every single time. I feel like I look like a mess. But anyway, I'm now gonna move on to eyebrows. Oh yeah, I was being a little bit risky. I said, should I do risky? I said, should I do my eyebrows how I usually do them or try a different shape? 27% normal, 73% different. So I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows different today and I don't actually know how I'm doing them. <laughs> So I normally do my eyebrows arched and I feel like that is what works for me. I think it looks best on me, but I think today as I've got to do them different, I'm gonna do straight eyebrows. However, it's not gonna look good because I'm gonna have my actual eyebrow hair sticking out on the end. Most people would shave the tail off, I think, if they do straight eyebrows, but because I don't wanna do it permanently, I'm just doing it as a one-off for this video. I obviously don't wanna shave the tail of my eyebrows off. So it's probably not gonna look great, but I am gonna give it a go. I'm gonna go and try and do some dead straight eyebrows and see what they look like. Three, two, one. I just wanna know how everyone else who's done this makes it look so good. I just think it looks a bit weird. And obviously, like I said, it would look weird with my eyebrow hairs poking out of the bottom. So just ignore them. But yeah, I gave it a go. I tried a different eyebrow, eye, eyebrow. So for eyeshadow, I got you guys to pick out of natural and bright. 21% said natural, 79% said bright. So I'm guessing I'm gonna do a bright eyeshadow. I kind of knew you guys would pick that because it's something a bit different for me. I've got a Beauty Bay EYN bright palette. Whoa, <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> Ta-da, this is what it looks like. We've got an absolute mess up here where I've got the pink everywhere, but I've got a bunch of bright colors. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a bit of Hot Stuff. This is in the shade Hot Stuff. It's like a bright red. I feel like it's probably one of the brightest colors on here. So I'm gonna take a bit of that and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid and just do like a big block color thing. Cause then what can go wrong? Everything, <laughs> everything can still go wrong with me. Right, let's get a bit of that. And I'm just gonna put it all over my eyelid and just kind of like build it up so that it looks as bright as possible. This might actually look quite cool. Have I ever done red eyeshadow? I don't think I have. I feel like right now it looks a little bit ridiculous, but I'm thinking once I've added my mascara and everything else, it might actually look okay. I feel like this has potential to be kind of cool. So the next thing I asked you guys was, should I try the TikTok hooded eyes eyeliner hack, yes or no? 90% of you said yes, 10% of you said no. So that was a resounding yes. I'd had so many of you guys send me this TikTok of someone doing eyeliner for hooded eyes, because obviously, as we know, I have hooded eyes. So yeah, it's probably easier if I just play the video than me trying to explain it, but I'm gonna give that a go. I think it looks like she's using like a gel eyeliner because she's doing it on a brush, but I don't have one of those. So I might just do black eyeshadow. Oh, I'm just gonna give it a go. What is the worst that could happen? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna do a line going out 
here. Yeah, so a little line across my crease and then downwards like that. Oh, okay, so we've got a little square that I'm now gonna fill in like that. And then she just connects this bit with the point up here. I feel like this one looks so much better. Typical, the one that I did off camera went way better than this one. But overall, I feel like the hack does work. Like if you have hooded eyes, it definitely helps to get the shape right. So yeah, they're definitely not my best. They are not my best eyeliner. And I feel like eyeshadow made it a little bit tricky because it was quite messy, but they look okay. So next I said, which mascara, Primark or Benefit? 34% said Primark and 66% said Benefit. So we're gonna be doing a bit of Benefit Roller Lash, which is the one that I use most of the time, really. Then stupidly, I said lashes, question mark. 79% said yes, 21% said nah. How could you do that to me? Honestly, how? I mean, I shouldn't have asked really, it's my own fault, but I guess that means today I'm doing some lashes, but to be honest, I feel like it kind of needs it with this eye look to like cover up the mess I've made. Hopefully I don't make even more of a mess. I'm gonna go and do some eyelashes. I'm gonna do it off camera. So next I asked you guys, should I do my lips natural or make them look fuller? 22% said natural, 78% said fuller. So today we're gonna make it look like I have lips again, but I'm gonna do it right this time. If you saw my video, a couple of weeks ago, I think. I did a beauty hack where you're supposed to do a semicircle to make your lips look fuller. I did the semicircle upside down and I didn't even realize until everyone commented it. So today I'm actually gonna do it right and I'm gonna do it up this way and give myself some big pouty lips. Okay, so I've got my lip liner and I'm just gonna go, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm just gonna go up here and I'm gonna go over my Cupid's bow so that I basically don't have one anymore. It's really hard to talk when I'm doing this. <laughs> I mean, they definitely look fuller, so technically, I keep getting glue stuck to my eyelid. Um, I'm all right. Technically, I have achieved what I wanted to achieve. I've made them look fuller, definitely. I just don't know if they look good. Like, I just don't think it suits me, does it? Like, all of this. That's everything that I asked you guys for makeup. So this is my finished makeup look. The last thing I got you guys to pick was my outfit and my jewellery. So for my outfit, I asked you guys to pick which jeans and I had between pattern and plain. 71% of you said pattern, 29% of you said plain. So I'm going to be working out these pattern jeans that I've never actually worn because, I don't know, I always just wear plain basic stuff but I bought them because I thought they were really cute. I got a lot of people asking where these were from. I think I got them from Dolls Kill but the brand is Horoscopes. I don't know if it's sold anywhere else but it was a little while ago so I don't know if they still have them but yeah I'm finally gonna wear them for the first time. And then I said I thought I'd go for tops that I never usually wear. Which one? White off shoulder or pink bralette? 59% said the white off the shoulder top. 41% said pink bralette. So again this one was kind of close. So yeah I'm gonna be wearing this which isn't really the kind of thing that I'd normally wear and um, I'm pretty sure it was from I saw it first again long time ago <laughs> and then I said I know I'm not going anywhere but pick some shoes anyway black or white 53% said black 47% said white so we're going for the black ones both of these shoes are from Koi footwear again I got a lot of questions about those but yeah today we're going for these black chunky trainers with the little flames on them I think these are so cool but again I never normally wear them and then for jewelry I said moonstar necklace or star choker bit of fluff 71% uh, said Moonstar necklace, 29% says Star Choker. We're whacking out the little Moonstar necklace. You can't even see it, can you? You can't even see it. <laughs> it's very small and very dainty. And then finally, for my earrings, I said Moonstar earrings or hoops. 70% said Moon and Star earrings, 30% said hoops. So we're whacking out the Moon and Star earrings, which I guess people did to try and match with the necklace and with the jeans, which is a good, you know, it's a good idea. We've got a whole matching thing going on here. That is everything. I now need to go and put the outfit and the jewelry on and then I'll give you guys the finished look and we're finally done. So this is the finished look. We've got the makeup, the hair, the outfit, the accessories, the tan, the everything. Alex likes it, don't you? Really Alex like took it. one look at me because I asked him to come and help me to film this last bit. And he was like, I really like that. And he said that the, what did you say? The makeup makes my eyes pop. <laughs> I like that. Makes my eyes pop. I think it's because the red and the green. Am I right? They're like the opposite of the color wheel. I might have made that up, say but. Is that your eyes look more green than they normally do. They look more green so. than normal. Everyone's now going to be like, I thought you had blue eyes. Like everyone thinks I have blue eyes because on me. camera, 
they look blue but I have green eyes um, anyway I'm going really off topic basically Alex really likes the overall looks you guys must have done a good job and I really like it as well I think the whole thing just goes together really nicely like it's a vibe I think the only thing I'd change is probably the shoes to the white ones I think that would go better with this outfit but apart from that everything just goes it is a good look I like this and I've got nowhere to go nowhere to be I'm just gonna sit around at home I think that's it that's me done you done any final words uh, I have none Fantastic. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you to all of you who took part and answered all the polls. Make sure you go and follow me on Instagram in case you want to take part next time if I do anything else like this. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye.